After graduating college, I spent two years studying in a yeshiva. Yeshiva describes an intense learning environment for studying Talmud, dozens of volumes of commentary on the Torah, which root Jewish law and practice. Intensive study in this space is expected before beginning six years of rabbinical school as I was interested in pursuing. However, fresh out of college, I was still gaining a sense of the type of work and impact I wanted to have in the world. What would it mean to have a job and go there every day? I'm not interested in funerals or weddings, which are the bread and butter for a rabbi. I'm passionate about studying these texts and, and debating their applications as people have done for generations. To me, data science and ancient opaque texts are not that different. In the spring of my first year, I completed natural language processing and was eager to apply the concepts. Most fortuitously, I connected with a professor in the Judaic Studies Department who works with ancient Hebrew dialects, Judeo-Arabic, Judeo-Persian, and Ladino. He collected thousands of historic works in these languages that had never been digitized. I spent the summer developing custom optical character recognition scripts to convert microfiche scans of these books into machine-encoded text. This supervised machine learning task required meticulous attention to details. The weathered pages could be difficult to read, and neglected accent marks on a letter could completely change the meaning. Furthermore, Unicode has limitations. While all three languages are written in Hebrew characters, there are different ligatures and diacritic marks that make them unencodable. For example, the Unicode for the letter Gimel can only be combined with the Unicode of these four diacritic markers. However, Judeo-Arabic necessitates a Gimel with the dot directly on top corresponding to a distinct Arabic letter. While trying to circumvent these limitations, I realized that although the glyphs or the appearance of the letters on the screen needed to appear true to form, users would only query using sta a standard Hebrew keyboard. Therefore, I could name the unencodable Unicode characters using an internal naming system. Although I'm a data scientist by training and interest, as the only tech person on the project, it was also up to me to complete the user-facing presentation. I created a PHP-based website that could host all of the texts and make them accessible to the public as readable PDFs. By combining my proficiency in natural language with machine language, I was able to enable others to learn from these forgotten works. I learned to interpret stories through Talmud, and now I am seeking full-time employment as a data scientist to apply my skills on both technical and abstract levels. By leaning into challenges and learning independently, I haven't just followed a unique path, but integrated seemingly divergent paths. If I can cross paths dating from 536 BCE with the future as it unfolds, I know anything is possible. Thank you.